this animal? Privates, the general would like to know more about your little animals operation. Marsha Clark is a voice. Uh, we have a full courtroom episode that we're very excited about and it, it happens right when all the animals are able to communicate with each other. And so it's about the biggest topic uh, in the animals world. And it's sort of the trial of the century and she's like She plays a, uh, herself. And that was like one of the funnest recording sessions we've had, I think. I don't know why, it was mm -hmm. just tons of fun to have her in the room and be like, what's the worst thing lawyers can say in a courtroom? And she was game for all of it. She's great. She's a she's really funny, really funny character. She, Ends up being more Dennis the Menace yeah, than, exactly. a, than a lawyer. She's kind of like a little, she sort of bullies Phil a little bit. So it's, it's a uh, kind of uh, she sack taps she, me. She sack taps him. I was trying to think of how to like sack appropriately tap. say sack it, tap. but but we had her sack tap Phil. Yeah, and she was game for it. She was game for it, and it was very funny. So, Marsha Clark sack taps. If you were wondering. Season three takes place in a humanless New York City. It's three years after the end of season two, and it uh, starts off with all the different species rebuilding society. And some of them are doing good. The rats kind of got it figured out. The dogs really miss their humans. Mm -hmm. Some horses still use horses as horses. So the, some people are kind of fucking up a little bit. And but, the grab uh, bags, there's a sect called the grab bags, which are pretty much any animal you'd find at like Petco or something. So any like hamster, gerbil. The accessory the animals. The accessory animals that like don't, they're not wild. They don't know where to go. So they sort of form their own thing called the grab bags. And they're just a grab bag of different little furry freaks. So it's a fun, we, we, the season starts off with a lot of different worlds. Um, really uh, kind of walled off from each other. They really don't like each other, but uh, towards the end, uh, it becomes a little bit more of a serialized story and everyone uh, starts to come together. It's a really, it's a really cool, <laughs> it's a really cool 10 episode story this season that we're, mm. we're excited to explore. Yeah, I think more than the other seasons, this one is, um, it's, all, it's all connected and builds, builds off each other each episode. So it's gonna be a, a fun, a fun 10 series, fun 10 episodes to watch. That's the sentence I was trying to say. I'm excited that uh, we have Bob Balaban in this season and he's kind of a season regular and I'm excited about how game he was for everything. He raps, he's crazy, he's like a crazy mob boss and he was just, he's just a lovely voice and has a nice aesthetic voice to it. Uh, really excited about Edie Falco. Loved having her come on board. David Harbour. Anthony Mackie. Uh, Anthony Mackie. Lucy Liu's another yeah. regular recurring character. A lot of great British people we have. We have a whole British episode. Everybody in the horses world is just British. So it's uh, Jamila Jamil is great. Michael Sheen. Jared Har Harris. Excuse me. Get emotional when I talk about Jared Harris. No, so I know. You're a big fan. That was sick. Do you want to be my girlfriend? What the f do you want to be my mom? Do you have games on your phone? What did you just say to me? 